For today's Healthy Eats, we're focusing on gut health. Our expert today explains why taking good care of your gut can promote good overall health. Angie gives us some tips for a gut reset if you're looking to make a healthy change. Joining me today is holistic nutritionist, Sarah Marlette. Sarah, today we're talking about gut health. So remind us, why is it important to take care of our gut? We know the gut is critically important for digestion, absorption, immune function, keeping harmony with the good and bad bacteria, elimination and detoxification. So it helps our body with metabolism, energy, vitality, and making sure, especially more than ever, that we have proper immune health. Explain the relationship of our gut to our overall health. So our gut and our brain are connected via something called the vagus nervus, the longest nerve in the body. Also, our gut health is governed by something separate from the central nervous system. It's called the enteric nervous system. So everything we're putting into our body doesn't just correlate to digestion, but it correlates to energy, brain fog, and as I said, immune function. And we know when we have an impaired gut, we're more susceptible to things like bloating, gas, constipation, um, that 3 p.m. crash. So if somebody needs to get started on improving their gut health, what is the best way to start? I would say start focusing on removing some of the top allergens like gluten, dairy, and sugar, and find ways to add in those healthier vegetables. And I always tell all of my clients too, if raw veggies tend to bloat you, think of cooking as the act of digestion outside of the body. So maybe you're roasting some carrots, some zucchini, some summer squash, and slowly work your way up to increase plant diversity. Sarah, you have a program called the Gut Reset. Can you talk about the five R's that you have in the program? So the five R's are remove, replace, repopulate, replenish, and rebalance. So number one, remove, remove those allergens like gluten, sugar, dairy. Number two, replace it with those real whole foods, vegetables, and fruit. Number three is repopulate with probiotic rich foods. Number four is replenish with antioxidants, zinc, vitamin A, C, and E. And number five is rebalance, de-stress. Remember, it's not always what's on your plate, but the lifestyle and being overworked and the constant racing thoughts and just being stressed out. So yoga and meditation are great tools when it comes to rule number five. All right, so today you're gonna to share a great recipe with us to get us started on our gut reset. What are we making? So we're making my personal favorite. It's called NTG Faux Oatmeal, Nurse Dry Flow Faux Oatmeal. And the two main ingredients are flaxseed and chia seed. So what you'll do is you'll take three tablespoons of chia seed, put it right in the pot. This is a great source of fiber. Two tablespoons of the flaxseed as well. I've got about a cup of unsweetened nut milk. Now we've got a half a cup of frozen berries. Give it a good mix. And then I would put this on the stove for five to eight minutes. And then once it's off the stove, top with some extra berries, some hemp seed, and my personal favorite, some cinnamon. Sarah, that looks delicious. I can't wait to make some of my own. So I guess wrapping this all up, we can say that gut health is really critical to our overall health. Remember, it's not just what's in your bowl, but it's also how you're eating, how you're moving, and how you're de-stressing. So add in more plants, more plant diversity, slow down, take some deep breaths, and find tools for you to de-stress. You want more content about living healthy? Well, it's easy. Check out these videos right here and subscribe right here for more.